You know, players come from all over the place to see me as the serve doctor at the Voluntary Tennis Academy. And most of the time, they're pretty intimidated. They think I'm going to get all complicated and scientific with them and have them doing all these things that are really difficult for them to build into their motion. And what they come to find out is they couldn't be more wrong. Typically, players are already very complicated. They're looking, they're trying to emulate a little bit of this player, a little of that player. They've got their own interpretations of what the serve should be like. And they try to put all this on the same page and they got different body parts flying all over the place. So the first stage that I take a player through with my serve doctor training method is called the cylinder. And I love the cylinder drill because it teaches a player how to take charge of all the parts of their body, how to take control. I can't start teaching a player specific technical style maneuvers and movements if they don't really have a good awareness of what their body parts are doing at any point in time. So that's why I take them to the cylinder to teach them the lesson that also less is more and that we want to channel our energy to the swing and to the racket head and not waste energy along the way by having a lot of excess body movements. But the cylinder is all about disciplining the body movements and channeling the energy properly. When I say cylinder, I usually show the kids my ball tube. And I say, imagine this ball tube is blown out big enough to wrap around the body all the way up to the armpits. And what we're going to do is try to stay within that cylinder through the entire motion. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to turn the body into the components of a whip. For a whip to properly crack, you need a firm handle. This is made out of a very solid material, wood underneath here. But then the strap itself is very loose, a loose piece of leather or rubber-like quality. The two together can crack the energy and make it snap at the end. So the body now will be that handle. It can pivot within this cylinder this way, but from the shoulder down to the end of the racket, I want strap qualities. So we're talking about two entirely separate intensity levels. Very firm and sturdy and controlled with great posture. Uh, the hips set back a little bit. I'm tight through my hips here. I got a slight bend in my legs so that my thighs are in control. My weight's balanced towards the toes. I'm on balance. I'm in a very strong athletic foundation position, but it's very upright, maybe just a few inches shorter than my standing height. I'm focusing on staying within this cylinder and a good rotation of the upper body. So I'll use the cylinder to not only train and, and eliminate movement and discipline the body throughout the cylinder, but it's also great for getting players to focus on the shoulder rotation required when you pitch a ball or, in this case, swing it at, at the serve. So a big portion of the serve is that rotation process here, and that's what we're able to isolate and focus on using the cylinder. If I take the average 10-year-old little boy and I say, throw a ball as hard as you can, as far as you can. Here's what they tend to look like. Everything they've got going into that throw. Body's going in every direction. The ball hardly goes anywhere. Now, go to the opposite end of that continuum. Go to the pro level quarterback or pitcher and watch them throw as hard, particularly the quarterback. The real good ones have that strong posture that stays upright. They stay in that cylinder through here, and it looks much more like that. Notice the body's totally still, posture's holding solid, the head hardly even moved. So all the energy is being chan channeled right into the throwing mechanics. That's how they get all that pace. So the cylinder is gonna get you more in the direction of effortless, smooth, and fluid which is what we're always trying to do on all parts of the game if we're trying to play more like the pros. I suggest practicing the cylinder quite a bit. For some of you, it may take you just a few tries. It'll probably take more than that for a lot of you though. You might have to spend days, if not weeks, to really master it where you can crack the whip. You're gonna figure out real quickly how much control it takes and how you have to activate your muscles to be able to just manage staying inside that cylinder. My favorite drill of all.